what if a carriage could move without horses? And so in his tiny little workshop, he scrambled together just 25 units of what is essentially just a giant tricycle with a lawnmower engine attached to it. And he called it the patent motor wagon. And then, yes, he did actually patent it. Right, there's a bit of a technique to this. So wait for the sound, bring it back this way, and then smack the wheel over. I can't actually believe this thing still turns on. I am about to drive the first car ever made. Oh my God, we got gas. Ah, this is absolutely insane. So I can accelerate here. And this thing goes up to, you won't believe it, 16 kilometers per hour, which is actually a lot faster than I want to be going in this. The motor wagon was a flop. No one cared. People were so used to their horses that by comparison, this, which only had about 0.75 horsepower, just seemed like the more dangerous, more pointless and noisier alternative. But then, this is the insane bit. Carl's wife, one morning in 1888, took this car without telling him and drove 106 kilometers in one go, fixing it a couple of times with her hairpin, topping it up with fuel from a pharmacy, because remember, there was no such thing as a petrol station back then, and this thing ran on what was essentially cleaning fluid. And in doing so, she completed the first ever road trip. The newspapers went absolutely crazy about it. Investors started lining up at Carl's door, and that is how the car began. And so it's pretty absurd to think that within just 40 years of that triangle on wheels, this is what Carl Benz's vision had become.